we die, our soul departs from our body, and the soul goes on a journey, and that is when the soul descends into the grave to be reunited with our bodies. And when the soul is coming down, it witnesses the Janasa funeral, and your body is laying there on the ground, wrapped up, getting ready to be buried. And you're descending, and you're seeing this, and you're hearing it. You're experiencing it. And when the people then take your body and place it in the grave, your soul descends in there into the grave. To be reunited with your body and then your loved ones, your friends who are there at your janaza, they will start shoveling dirt, start picking up dirt with their hands and placing it in the grave, throwing it on top of you and you will feel it fall on top of you. And they will do this until you are completely covered up. And you will be there in the grave, covered up, and you will have consciousness. You will be alive. Not physically, obviously, but your soul will experience this. They'll walk away. They'll leave and you will hear their footsteps as the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him said that you will hear their footsteps as they walk away. And you will be there, alone in the grave by yourself darkness. Silence. What happens at that? Two angels come to you, Munker and Naker, and they ask you three questions. Perhaps the most important questions you will ever be asked. And the three most important questions you will ever answer those questions are What is your Deen, who is your Prophet, and who is your Lord? And if you answer these questions correctly, all three of them Your stay in the grave will be one of peace You'll have peace You'll have pleasure until the day of judgment when the horn that sounded and you are raised up out of your graves. But if you don't answer these questions correctly, all three of them, your stay in the grave will be full of pain. So we must answer these questions correctly. But here's the problem. A lot of us say to ourselves at this point, I'm good. Because I'm a Muslim and I know the answers to these questions and I'll answer them correctly, this is a problem. Because the answers are not given, as many of the scholars say, the answer is not given with your tongue. The answer is not given with your brain. Answer is given with your heart. What is in your heart will come out at that moment if you lived your life not really striving to you Muslim, a true Muslim trying to practice. Then Islam really was not in your heart, so we have to make sure that we're striving again to the best of our ability. I'm not asking for perfection. I'm not asking for scholars. I'm not asking for you to be of the best character like the Prophet, peace be upon him. But we must strive for it so that on that day, when these angels come to us and they ask us these questions, what is in our heart will naturally come forward. The answers, the correct answers will come forth after the we pass. The test of these three questions what happen? An order from a law with five glad tidings first. The grave will be furnished from Jana. The second thing that happened the person will be closed from the cloth of Jana or these are taught to us by Razalullah and they have authentic hadith to support them and then the person in the grave. 
The gate of Jannah will be opened for him or her, and its breeze will come to him or her, and he smells its fragrance, and he feels the delight. A ford the grave will be made spacious as far as the eye can see the life of the Barzak. The life of the great is completely different than this life. And what will make the grave very spacious? And fifth, he will be living given the glad tidings of Jana, pleasure and change of Jana, like well then a man with a beautiful face. Beautiful garment and sweet order comes and the person in the graves it. Who are you? You are. You look so good. You have such a beautiful smell. Who are you? Your face is perfectly beautiful. Then the person will reply, I am your good deeds. I am that Salat that you prayed. I am that Sadaqat that you gave. I am the Quran that you read and you memorized. I am the fasting. I am the struggle that you went through. I am the two record that you prayed in the middle of the night. I am, I am all the great Amal, a man with a good face that will be our companion till the day of judgment. I want to pick up. What does he say? I wouldn't ask them 100%. I would question everyone about what they used to do. We would be questioned about everything. Everything.